All right, we're looking at the hardware that we're going to use to put this I-10 together. And this hardware is used all across the Infinity Rack, whether it be a wall mount series, an Infinity series, all the rigs you saw custom at the games, um, the Friday night games rig, the one we use Saturday, the 150 footer, or the one on Sunday. So it's all the same hardware. You got a four and a half inch long bolt, three and a half inch long bolt, a nut, a lock washer, and a flat washer. We'll show you how these go together. They go together really easy. We're using an impact gun. You can use regular socket and wrench if you want. If you don't have these, just make it really nice. It goes together really quick. We're not tightening everything up. We're leaving it a little bit loose so when it sets up, it's gonna level out. So not every floor is perfect. We'll go do the exact same thing to the other side. So we got one side of the front or the back of the R4 made. Now we're going to throw together the front before we join them. And the front goes together the same. Three and a half inch bolt with a washer on it, then a lock nut, and then the nut. One thing you'll notice is that the feet are on the outside. This is really important so you can set up your squat width stance. We're going to stand the front up and we're going to connect it to the back with these 43 inch cross members with holes in them. Let's do the back. So these go together same as the other ones. We're just going to use the four and a half inch bolt now because we're going through that three inch face of the two by. Now we're going to add the front of it. So now we're going to add in the top, top cross members. Take a look at the feet while they finish this up. You can see here, we're gonna go into rubber flooring, so we will be bolting this to the floor with a concrete anchor. We always recommend that you cut a hole out in the rubber so it's sitting concrete to metal and you're not going through that three quarter inch piece of rubber. So as soon as we get this down, we're gonna put it up back in this corner, right back here. Trace around all the rubber and then we'll use the laser blade to cut that rubber out. So we get this nice and tight. So now we have our R4 together. One thing you can add is a cross piece to the back to stabilize it if you don't want to bolt it down. We left that off so you can walk completely through it because we're going to bolt ours it right directly into the floor here. Uh, now we're going to get this moved over, squared up, trace around the rubber, and then we'll cut the rubber out, and then we'll show you how we fasten all our Infinity Rigs, R3s, and R4s to the ground. 